if I had to pick any place, any place in the world to be an entrepreneur, this is where I would be. Dallas was when I got here and it is today a city that is becoming. We are a city of becomers. We're gonna become better than we were yesterday. We're gonna become something that we dream about. And we're not afraid to undertake that. You go look at the roots of EDS and where Ross started his company, it was Dallas. If you go look at Ralph Rogers, where he started Texas Industries, it was Dallas. If you look at Norm Brinker, where he started what's today a global company, Brinker International, it was Dallas, Texas. We were a city of people who had put their own money or their family's monies on the line to build the enterprise enterprises that were here, to build this economy. We have inherited this legacy of of people who are really willing to go out and put a stake in the ground and say this is what they want to do and try something and not be afraid to fail. Um, and hopefully we've been able to incorporate that into our DNA as a city. And that's part of what, you know, who knows, it's a hypothesis, but perhaps part of what drives this ongoing spirit of entrepreneurship in Dallas and makes that such, a, such an appealing pursuit for so many people. Dallas, I do believe, is a, is a can-do kind of city, and I know that there are folks that, that are around and available to help entrepreneurs. People succeed not by themselves, they, seek, they succeed through a community, because that's what it takes. Corporate America has a big role to play in entrepreneurship. And when you combine the two together, now that's powerful. I will never stop helping entrepreneurs because of how I was helped. Anything that is trying to further entrepreneurship, creative opportunity, innovation, particularly among young people and people who are emerging into this space, I'm there. My mentors saw in me Something before I knew, I saw it in myself. It was the group of established, seasoned entrepreneurs in Dallas who reached out and embraced us. Mentorship and mentoring the next generation of leaders is visionary. Um, I do that today. You know, I have my pipeline of, of women-owned businesses, of entrepreneurs that I spend a lot of time with, and I, I purposely spend a lot of time with them because you want to pay that forward. That kind of continuum is really, I think, reflective of a healthy and robust ecosystem of, that supports entrepreneurship. And, and that's what I'm seeing, and that's what is really exciting to me about being a part of that, that ecosystem. We have a, a tagline, a motto that we live by in the engineering school now at SMU, which is no problem too big. And I think we've been believing that ever since I can remember when I got here. There's no problem too big. Just point me in the right direction. Tell me where the number one T is and what's the course record and then get out of the way.